Hey, what's going on everybody? Anushka Sheffi here and in this video what I wanted to cover is how I went from zero to six figures per month on Amazon. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, kind of like the journey and progress through. So by the time you um, are at the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how I went from you know, kind of just making sales here and there with my dropshipping business to making it a full-time income that brings in over $10,000 profit every single month or more, okay? So that's what this this is going to be all about, so stick around, all right? Um, so I have a couple pictures in front of you guys, and uh, this is kind of just walking you through the day um, of what I did today. And, and why I'm, I, I wanted to do this video is, is for a specific reason, because as you see, um, I had an awesome day today, guys, and while I had an awesome day, my Amazon dropshipping business was sitting there working for me nonstop, okay? And as you can see right in the picture in the middle, this is the whole reason I wanted to do this video. I was sitting, uh, I, I did a hike early this morning, right? I went with a buddy, did a hike with my little dog, that's Chanel, it's my baby girl, so like my little sidekick, um, and she, she like comes everywhere with me. But we went on this hike, beautiful rolling hills up in like uh, the, the backs of California hills, right, um, up in Northern California, and it was just beautiful, um, peaceful, just a uh, nice time, and the entire time sales are pouring in, so I continue throughout the day, I go and pick up lunch, I get to hang out with my dad at, uh, for lunch, and we go, and I, I just grabbed a sandwich and a beer, as you can see, and as I look down to grab a bite of my sandwich, I, I notice sales just continue to pour into my account, I'm like, hmm, that's probably a good, um, you know, video to cover, like the power of having a business that works for you instead of you grinding your, you know, nine to five. How did this journey start for me? It was not always like this. Actually, when I started, um, you know, if you don't already know, I did a video on this, but I started like five or six years ago online. I started with SEO. I got pretty passionate about it and I, I did it for a couple years, right? And I started getting bored with uh, SEO and I started looking at other alternatives. And around the time, I think it was like maybe three years ago, um, around that time, FBA or fulfillment by Amazon was one of the biggest hot topics. Everyone and their grandma was looking at FBA, trying to do FBA, just getting in or just getting out of FBA. So it was a huge topic. And um, at the time, I was interested in getting into some e-commerce myself. So I ended up um, diving right in. Um, I did grab a kind of a, a coaching course for it. And um, to be honest, I ended up flopping. So what happened? <laughs> I grabbed like $2,500 worth of inventory from China uh, because everyone at the time was using overseas suppliers, pretty much slapping a label on these products that, um, white labeling products. And so I picked uh, a product I thought would sell pretty well, ended up being extremely competitive. So maybe that was my mistake, but uh, no, it was definitely my mistake. Uh, but I picked a competitive product, ended up sending that stuff into FBA, and it literally sat around <laughs> in FBA's inventory uh, for uh, FBA warehouses for like two years. Uh, so that ended up costing me thousands of dollars. I never ended up selling them. I ended up using Amazon liquidations. If you are in this similar situation, you may want to check out Amazon liquidations. You can go and liquidate your um, items and hopefully someone will pick them up and maybe you'll make some money back from them, okay? Um, rather than just sitting on them wondering what the hell you're going to do with all this storage and inventory, okay? So ended up after that, uh, that big flop with FBA, I was still interested in e-commerce. I wasn't going to give up. So I ended up looking for alternatives and, and ran across my buddy, right? And this is from the last video. I ended up running across a guy who was doing big numbers on Amazon dropshipping. I linked up with him and that's pretty much when everything changed. And what happened was the first, like literally I got coached up and the first day, and this was a couple years ago, maybe two years back. Um, uh, the very first day I got coached up, started doing product research. And the very first day I think I hit like a hundred dollars profit. <laughs> And I was just ecstatic. I, I knew the power of this and I knew that I, I could just continue forward scaling, adding products, um, having great customer service, keeping Amazon happy. If I did that, I felt that I could, um, you know, I could grow some massive numbers. Okay, so after you know, six months of progressing through this, I was running the business myself. If orders came into my store, I would process all the orders and all this stuff. Um, and, and sales were up and down. It was never like a continuous spike. One month I do, you know, 5,000 profit, and the next month I might do 2,700, uh, 3,000. So I was still figuring out the system and figuring out my, my tools. And I started making some decent money, but it never got to, you know, the ultimate goal was is always 
five figures a month. Everyone wants to hit 10,000 profit, 10,000 profit. And it wasn't getting to that level for me, at least, um, doing it the way I was doing it. Okay. So I had to figure out what I was going to change. And I think that, you know, the biggest tip that I could give for you guys today in order to go from where you're at with your business, um, or the biggest tip for the day is to go from where you're at to, to where you want to go is don't be afraid to hire people. Um, don't be afraid to trust people to kind of run your operation for you. I can guarantee you, um, if I wanted to run my store where it's at, we did 175,000 in sales last month. There's absolutely no way I could have done all the order processing, customer service, um, listing of products, returns, and all that stuff, right? I mean, it's just a huge task. So that's, that's what I would say, um, that if you're ready to take it up a notch, don't be afraid to go hire people. You know, you can go to Upwork, you can go to online jobs. Um, the, a lot of people come to me and they say, do you, are, you trust people to, you know, use your credit card? You trust people to run your PayPal accounts? Or, uh, And I say that, you know, obviously I'm not going to go and hand a new employee, like, hey, here's my PayPal account with $50,000 in it. <laughs> no. Uh, but what you do is you start building relationships, start building up um you know, trust with these people. So I started one of my employees, right, uh, from India, very, very sweet, sweet chick. And I started her off. Uh, what she started doing was order processing. Um, actually, she started with tracking. Okay, so very simple job, add tracking. When I place the order, go ahead, get the tracking from the email and add it to the order inside of Amazon. Okay, so that's what she started. She did that for a while, she got the hang of it, and we start adding jobs slowly. And in that time, when you start working with somebody for two, three, four, five months, I've been working with her for a year or more now, um, you start to build a relationship, a trust kind of is there. So now she has access to my PayPal account, she has access to my credit card, she can go and literally <laughs> Um, run my entire operation and that's what it has to be you know if you imagine um, a store in offline business even if you run a pizza shop okay the thing is is that you're gonna have to have some trust you know, there's gonna be people that are gonna be making dough there's gonna be people that are um, making the pizzas and dealing with the cash registers you can't be there 24 hours a day so if you want to grow a big business you have to be willing to kind of put yourself out there and um, and, and, and build up a relationship uh, with these people so uh, that's what I'd suggest, guys. Uh, if you're if you're kind of making some decent money with drop shipping or FBA, you want to take it up a notch. We'll go hire someone to do some product research for you, because the more products that we have, the more potential to make money. All right, so go hire someone for product research. If you're you're past the stage of product research, you already have a set of products, um, or uh, wherever you're at, maybe you will need to hire an order processor for your drop shipping business. I know that's a huge task. You don't want to spend, if you get 100 orders a day, um, let's say three minutes on an order, you're spending five hours processing orders when you could be um, finding ways to scale your business, implementing other um, income strategies, right? If you automate your business, right? So what's happened with me? I automated my six figure per month Amazon dropshipping business and then I got bored I'm like hey I can go hike all day which is awesome I have the freedom but why not go and come up with new avenues a new income generating a uh, new profit engines right um, and that's when I hopped over to eBay as you can see in the picture right here the top sale is actually an eBay sale the bottom two are Amazon dropshipping sales okay so now I have two profit engines working for me two different platforms um, and more income so when you outsource one thing when you trust somebody to kind of run this aspect of your business um, your operation then you can you can move over to other things where you can uh, you know build more income into your life and more freedom okay so what has this allowed me to do this allows me to wake up whenever the heck I want okay that was a big thing for me I like to if I want to stay out all night one night and then wake up at two in the afternoon I, I don't really ever do that, to be, to be honest. But if I want to, <laughs> I feel like I should be able to do that. Um, if I want to go and have a beer at 2.53, um, yeah, it's not 5 o'clock, I don't give a damn. It's it's my life. It's my it's my business. It's my time on this planet. I feel like it should be spent in, in a kind of way that I enjoy. You know, if you want to go and hang out with your kids or your family, you should be able to do that. And sales should still be able to come in and pour into your account um, while you do that. So 
uh, yeah, if you're not tapping into the power of these automated um, platforms, Amazon, dropshipping, eBay, something, uh, you need to tap into that. I do have coaching below um, if you're interested. But uh, if, if you already are doing this and you want to make more money, go and head over to Upwork. Um, hire somebody that has skills in whatever it is you want. If you need a customer service agent, that can be a tricky one. But there's already people that have done Amazon customer service over at Upwork, over at onlinejobs.ph. I'll put a link in the description. So there's, you know, there's no need to kind of fumble through the process. Get out there. Put out a job posting. Um, what I would suggest, if you're going to go hire someone like that, if you go to Upwork, let's say, Create like a find a list of like 10 people that meet your criteria that you would like to work with or you think you'd like to work with and then go create a job posting, a private job posting and send it directly to those people that you want to work with. Right. So you invite those 10 people that, you know, are skilled in whatever you need. Um, and this can really speed up the hiring process. OK, so find somebody that's skilled in what you want. Hire them. Um, well, interview them. That's a, get them on a call. If they don't want to get on a call, there's always somebody else. You don't want to work with people that you can't get on a call. This is your operation. When you're doing six figures, you're going to need to, you know, communicate openly. Okay. So, um, if they can't get on a call, move on to the next one, interview, you know, a handful of people and then do a test run with them. Okay. And get them to run your operation for you. And that's what I would suggest guys. This is how I've been able to, um, you know, hike, do what I want, travel the world. Like I said in a couple of videos, I was able to last year, I went to like Germany, I went to Mexico on two cruises, I went to Haiti, Aus uh, not Australia. Um, I've never been to Australia. I want to go to Australia really bad, it's, it's probably on my mind. But like, anyway, I've been to like six countries, and in the entire time, we're getting sales like this. As you can see on the right hand side, $5,783. That's today, guys. While I was eating and drinking this awesome, delicious beer, it's called. Uh, the tilted, uh, what was that damn beer I had? It was like, like a, it sounded like an Irish like drink. It was like tilted skirt or something like that. I can't remember. What is a delicious beer? Um, so why, anyway, <laughs> got sidetracked, but we're talking about $5,783 in sales while I'm eating a sandwich and enjoying beautiful outside, um, completely automated guys. So that's what I'd suggest if you're, if you're ready to kind of take your numbers up, Go and hire somebody. Get somebody to run your operation so that you can go from wherever you're at to six figures in sales because you're not going to be able to do it all by yourself. Um, and if you are, you're working your freaking ass off. Okay? So get out there, guys, um, and start stacking up those numbers when you're ready. Hire somebody. And if you guys have any questions, I would love to love, love to hear what your questions are. Okay. I'm trying to add value to your guys' lives, help you build a solid drop shipping business that works for you. So if you have some questions or ideas or anything, let me know in the comments, like, and subscribe to this channel so I can, you know, keep creating awesome content for you guys. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys very much. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.